Welcome to Workflow Warriors. I'm Rob, and today I'll be showing you how to create an OMF file from Adobe Premiere Pro so that it will open properly with Pro Tools. An OMF file is a file that you'll want to create as a filmmaker when you need to hand off the audio portion of your film project to a sound engineer working with Pro Tools. When I was editing Season 3 of Standard Action, I discovered that many settings in the OMF files in Adobe Premiere will mean that the OMF file won't open and your audio engineer won't be able to use the project. So these are the steps I went through to make sure that he could always open an OMF file I create for him. I have here, I have my timeline. I've deleted any muted audio, anything like that. We, did, we had problems with muted audio uh, appearing in his and he didn't know what was what. So I have everything here synced up and all the muted audio deleted and just the boom mic audio and the lav audio. I'm going to press control A and select everything. You can also do this by drawing a box over everything. And then I also want to make sure I select all of the audio tracks by clicking along here. So once I've done that, the next step is to click export OMF. And I'm going to add a date to it because if I, there are drafts, uh, that can be an issue. I'm going to make sure the sample rate matches the timeline, which also matches the audio files, which is good. We want to make sure it's embed audio. You want to put the highest bits per sample you can, and you want to make sure that the trim audio files is set to something reasonable like 24 frames. So I click OK there. I select a folder and I make sure the date there, that's good. All right, I'm going to click Save and it's going to start exporting that. Now, while it's exporting, the one thing you want to do after this is you want to remember to export a video of this timeline as well so that your sound guy, when he's working on the dialogue and stuff, will have something to watch. So we're going to pause this and get back to it when it's done exporting. So the export is finished and we have the report here. Everything's good and that only took a couple minutes, so I'm going to click OK. And that's it. That's how you export an OMF file. If things have changed or you have any tips or advice or comments on your experiences creating OMF files with Adobe Premiere, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you.